These are rockets being intercepted by Israel's missile defense system, the Iron Dome. They were launched from the Palestinian territories just across the border from Israel by the Hamas militant group. And the short-range weapons have tested the limits of the system's effectiveness. Israeli forces had previously praised the Iron Dome for successfully intercepting more than 95 percent of these rockets. But when Hamas raided Israel on October 7th, they fired more than 5,000 of them, overwhelming the Iron Dome's capabilities and killing civilians. Despite the relative primitiveness of that technology, the sheer number of rockets fired in a concentrated period of time overwhelmed the Iron Dome's um, ability to deal uh, with these missiles. The attack showed the limits of the Iron Dome's defensive capabilities and caught the attention of militaries across the globe, especially here in Taiwan. Analysts say that China could use its arsenal of advanced missiles if it takes action against Taiwan, a country it sees as part of its territory. But would a system like the Iron Dome help Taiwan defend against an attack from China? And if we are talking about Taiwan, for Taiwan's case, so for example, longer range rockets, faster rockets, and land attack ballistic missiles, like they come in very fast from a high altitude, things like that, you, you have to rely on the Patriot, on the Tiangong 3. Taiwan uses two main missile defense systems, the US-made Patriot system, and the domestically made Tiankong or Skybo system. Range is important when looking at how militaries defend their cities. Israel's Iron Dome system can only intercept short-range targets like rockets. Taiwan's Patriot 2 and Skybo systems have much longer ranges and can take out faster, more advanced missiles and even aircraft. The current version of Iron Dome it can only intercept incomings with an a maximum range of up to 70 kilometers. So the Taiwan Strait is the narrowest point is almost uh, uh, twice as wide as that. So there is zero utility for Taiwan to deploy this, the current Iron Dome systems on its main island. While analysts agree that Taiwan does not need the Iron Dome, Taiwan's military wants to improve the way it uses its existing systems. It's created a task force to study the Israel-Hamas conflict and learn how to best position these systems. I know that Taiwan is going to um, try to see what lessons it can draw from the war between uh, Israel and Hamas. But you know, in the case of Taiwan, it's going to be fighting against a very advanced military, um, not a group of terrorists that is embedding themselves in civilian neighborhoods with tunnels and things of that nature. And while the war between Hamas and Israel might be different than a potential conflict between China and Taiwan, Taiwan's military will still be watching closely and trying to improve its defense strategy. James Lin and Hamil Khan for Taiwan Plus.